Hey guys, if your iPhone started overheating after updating to iOS 26.2, don't panic. This is a common issue after major updates, and in most cases, it's temporary. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to cool down your iPhone screen safely and what settings you should check so it doesn't keep happening. Let's start with what you should do immediately when your iPhone feels hot. First, stop using your iPhone right away. Close all apps, especially heavy games, video recording apps, or GPS navigation. These tasks push the processor hard and cause the screen and body to heat up fast. Next, remove the case. Thick silicone or leather cases trap heat. Take the case off and let the phone breathe. You'll usually notice the temperature drop within minutes. Now move your iPhone to a cooler place. Put it in the shade or in an air-conditioned room. Do not put it in the fridge or freezer. Sudden cooling can cause condensation inside the phone and damage internal components. Turn on airplane mode. This is a big one. Airplane mode shuts down cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth radios, which are major heat generators, especially if your signal is weak. If your iPhone is charging, unplug it immediately. Charging while the phone is hot makes overheating worse. Let the phone cool down completely before charging again. Now let's talk about software and settings fixes that help stop overheating after the iOS 26.2 update. First, check for updates. Go to Settings, then General, then Software Update, and make sure you're on the latest iOS version. Also open the App Store and update all apps. Some apps may not be optimized yet and can cause background overheating. Next, Manage Background Activity. Go to Settings, then General, then Background App Refresh. Turn it off completely or limit it to Wi-Fi only. After a major update like iOS 26.2, apps often refresh aggressively in the background, which creates heat. Now review Location Services. Go to Privacy and Security, then Location Services. For most apps, set location access to while using the app or never. Constant GPS usage heats up the phone very quickly. If your phone still feels warm, do a force restart. Quickly press volume up, then volume down, then press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. This clears stuck background processes that sometimes appear after updates. Also, give your iPhone some time. If you recently updated or transferred data, iOS needs a few days to finish background indexing. During this time, light heating is normal. Avoid gaming, long video recording, or heavy multitasking until things settle. Now let's talk about prevention so this doesn't keep happening. Never leave your iPhone in a hot car or under direct sunlight. Heat buildup happens fast and can damage the screen and battery. Give your phone space. Don't keep it under a pillow, blanket, or in a tight pocket while it's working or charging. Always use Apple certified chargers and cables. Cheap or uncertified accessories can cause excessive heat during charging. Finally, when should you seek repair? If your iPhone keeps overheating every day, shows temperature warning messages, or the battery drains extremely fast even after cooling steps, this could be a hardware issue. A failing battery is one of the most common causes of constant overheating. In that case, you should contact Apple support or visit an authorized service center for a proper diagnostic. So to sum it up, iOS 26.2 overheating is usually caused by background activity, charging, heat exposure, or indexing after the update. Follow these steps, let the phone cool naturally, and most users see the problem go away within a day or two. If you're still facing overheating, drop your iPhone model and battery health in the comments, and I'll help you figure out the next step. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.